as you come up the stairs here, you enter right into my living room. It's open concept. That door there is my bedroom, which is gonna be a separate video. It's not completed. That tall boy I got on Facebook Marketplace, paid a pretty penny for it though, and painted it black with my girlfriend Rose in the garage. We sprayed it, it worked out really well. The sofa's from Ikea. The two French chairs there, Facebook Marketplace, they weren't cheap, and then I had to reupholstery and paint them. The chandeliers restore, 35 bucks. The drapes are faux Ikea green velvet. The plant I, there I got, uh, uh, no, I found it in the garbage walking when I was on my walk. Coffee table, uh, Facebook Marketplace, I believe $25. The little gold chair over there with the books on it, I got free. Um, this, that picture is $2 and I painted it and added the black so it went with the green in here. The lamp is Value Village and then I put a new shade on it, of course. Have a cow skin on the on the floor here, which I would prefer a vintage rug, but haven't found one I like yet. So that will be taken out and changed. The picture over here on the wall is my favorite, favorite picture of all. It's from a Montreal artist named Brad Winfin, I believe. And the little footstool there I just got free the other day from a, on free make Facebook Marketplace. So that's the living room. I'm going to turn us back around into the entryway. I bought that years ago at the Goodwill. I have two of them. I did one in black, which is in the foyer, and this one white. They were uh, beigey color. That's a beautiful picture of my daughter. Yeah, it reminds me of her every day. I had just have a little chair there in case I need to sit down and put my shoes on or anything, or maybe just because it fits there. <laughs> And this little niche over here is my linen closet. So that used to be a doorway into one of the bedrooms, if you can see the frame around it. That picture there on the wall of the ballerinas was in my daughter's first apartment, which we did shabby chic, I did for her. She, well, she was in the college. It was a very cute apartment. I owned a little store at that time called Loves It Shabby Chic. This art here is from a guy in the Dominican Republic that I worked with and he used to sit at his desk and make these for me. I have quite a few of them, I think eight. Now you're entering into my bathroom. Now this is not the best place for a toilet and I did a reno in here, but to move the toilet was like a big job because this is a house and we have a tenant underneath us and that's where their two piece bathroom is, follows underneath. And then they have a kitchen all running down this side, but. Did a new marble floor in here. Basket weave, I thought it would keep to the age of the house, but I love it, it's easy to keep. The wall panel here, I bought these doors. They're called, um, oh, I can't think, the Ikea doors. They go on the Paxels, I guess for the closets, but I bought them in the as is for $11 each. They didn't fit on the closet in my bedroom where I wanted to put them. So I painted them up and PL'd them to the wall here, made a panel wall, no nails whatsoever. There's just my bath salts and that. The little piece of marble there was from the, where the old sink was and the plumbing was underneath it with a bump out. The lamp is Facebook Marketplace. Now these are not cheap. These are very expensive. I got one for the kitchen and one for uh, in here. Painted the whole ceiling black and painted all the walls um, simply white. From Benjamin Moore. Around the corner here is a little birdie I got from HomeSense. And down below is my other little doggy, Hendrix. That's Hunch's brother. Okay, we have the hot water rad heat in the house here. It's an older home. I tiled from um, the floor up all the way around. 
I miss one little spot that I wish I had it done, but I'll show you in a minute. That cabinet there where the plant is on is Ikea. It's a great medicine cabinet. The birdie picture I got uh, in LA and inside there's a key that matches the key there from Judy's wedding. Now I put a new vanity in and redid all the plumbing here and put it in the floor. That is a mirror from the restore. And I painted it black. The new vanity fits right in. Tiled from floor to ceiling. The subway tiles. I bought the vanity, I think, for 280 bucks or something like that. I can't quite remember. And I changed, of course, the faucet in the... I had to buy the faucet in... I think I had that for 80 or 90 bucks. And I did it in the oil, oil rubbed with the drain hole and everything. The cabinet came with little knobs, but I changed them. I got those ones at Lee Valley. I would have liked bigger ones, but the holes were already drilled. Is that little duckies from my friend Boo Boo? My little girlfriend, Jade. Now you come around here and this is the shower stall. Now I did floor to ceiling tiles, subway tile, and a little niche in there for your shampoo, cream rinse and body wash. And I believe I got them at Amazon. I keep a stool in there in case I want to sit down and shave my legs. Hardware, I paid about 500 for it. Game changer though. Even changed the overflow and the, the downs and the drain hole to oil rubbed. The curtain rod, I believe it's curved. I believe I got it. Amazon, maybe 60 bucks. Now I wish I had, that's where I said, I wish I had it finished tiling right across over the doorway here. But I still have a box, so maybe I'll do it. There was really no place for the towel rod, so I just bought hooks. The only place I could have put it was by the toilet and that was just not happening. So that is my little tiny bathroom. But it looks pretty and clean and nice. There you guys go. Now I'm gonna turn the corner here. We enter back into the living room. And now we're in the kitchen. So here, uh, I have a picture my cousin Steve gave me. And it's a, an old print. I believe from the 70s, maybe the 60s, could be wrong. The lamp I found at Value Village. It's a genie and it matches the genie there. I thought it was so cool. Reminds me of I Dream of Genie. It's just a little stool I keep in there in case I gotta jump to a higher cupboard. My vintage put bags there. I love that bag. I was gifted that from a friend, the champagne flutes. Now my floor is called Goth. And yes, I have two chairs here that I reupholstered and painted black and got the chairs from Facebook Marketplace as well. Actually, Rose and I bought them for, I think, 40 bucks. We were going to make these big bird chairs with fun for, with uh, Malibu fur and stuff, but we never did it. So I took them and did that with it, recycled them. I am really, really, really happy with this floor. I love it. And everyone's like, wow, that's some bold prints, but that's who I am. That candelabra is like the one in the living room. The neighbor downstairs gave it to me, actually. And you can see I like plants. Horse bust. Over the door there, I found that at Value Village for $5 and painted it white. I believe it was like a gold. There's a second light that I carried through here. I love the brick wall. My little bunny picture. My little kitty cat saying hi. Not a big kitchen. I would 
love to change the grout on the backsplash, but it's not happening right now. And I'm going to change the countertop. I think I'm gonna go with something a little harder. That's uh, Arborite and it's just cheap one, right? Ikea kitchen. Have an old Whirlpool fridge with my plants on it. That was a little plant that I got, uh, or pot I got the other day at the Value Village yesterday. But these appliances work amazing. So that's a quick scan. So that's the entrance way, the living room, my bedroom in the back corner, left corner. And I'm gonna take you out to the terrace. Now this was just an ugly mud room. And I realized I had such a small kitchen and I like to cook. So I carried the floor out to here. This brick wall painted it white on this side. And I did all my pantry stuff in here. All my food, all my dishes, bowls. It's getting a little cluttered. I should clean it out one day. I sit in this chair quite a bit actually at nighttime, drink my coffee. Kind of a weird thing, right? Now this door leads to the terrace, which I'm gonna take you to. You've all probably seen it if you've been following me. This side here is where I keep my um, cleaning and my uh, ironing board and my cleaning stuff. I have a, a bleach stain on there because I'm a bleach queen. That's where I keep all that. So our pantries have to hold stuff, right? And then my little, this is my garden that I have to tend to and what I'm rerouting or stuff like that. Now this here is a very old bird cage that was on a huge stand, but too big for the house. And that used to be on my daughter's kitchen counter. That one there. So that's a quick scan of the pantry. Facebook Marketplace for this big cabinet, painted it white and did black knobs. Now we're gonna go out and see, oh, my sister painted that little picture for me. Isn't it cute? I just love it, a little clothes like, reminds me of my childhood. My mother was always doing laundry with five kids. This door leads out into my terrace that you've all seen if you've been following me. So that's my chaise lounge, Facebook Marketplace. It was blue, recovered it uh, with the umbrella fabric. My planters have grown so big now. I have two little chairs here that I have in case I have guests. And I have two cushions for them. This Facebook Marketplace, painted it black, of course. And I did wrought iron so that I don't have to store it. I store the cushions, but, and I cover them at night with um, duck covers. My little bunny that I got found on a road trip with Rose. She had it at her house for quite a few years. Now it's here. And that was a bunny over there that I got at Value Village and I painted him. And then his little babies or her little babies. It's my chives. At night, I have a great view of the CN Tower of Toronto from this upper terrace. I have a front porch as well, if you haven't followed along, just so you know. And I can show a clip of that as well. Or maybe in another video. Over here are the tomatoes, peppers, cilantro, rosemary, uh, other herbs and spices. I have a little tiny barbecue. Well, it actually had two arms and I took one off and it gives me room to have a barbecue. So that's my apartment to a redone. Hopefully it's better than the first one. This little Buddha, I had, my girlfriend um, Judy gave me quite a few years ago, maybe 15 years ago. And then I, when I moved away, she kept him. And then when she was moving to Alberta, she brought him back. And the guys got around, right? So, and I got that little picture there um, for a dollar at uh, the St. Vincent de Paul. And oh yeah, this is the avocado plant that's starting to grow. Just thought I'd let you see inside there. 
And of course I thrifted the pot. And as much as I thrift, you have to be able to put it all together and make it look right and repurpose it and paint it and all the rest. So that's my little terrace, my pantry. And I think I'm completed for today. So there you go. Isn't that a lovely little spot to sit? I love it there. It's my favorite part of the whole apartment. This house has um, was a huge house, I think five bedroom, uh, maybe six. Um, now converted into the top floor is where I live. The middle floor is a tenant. They have one in a bedroom and a den. Well, it could be another bedroom, but they use it as a den. They have one and a half baths down there. They have a beautiful kitchen that's been renovated with a huge island. And then the basement tenant, um, she has a kind of studio slash junior one bedroom. She's got French doors on the bedroom. She seems very happy down there. And she has a little terrace I made outside with the bistro floor in front of her apartment. And then down below, they have a, uh, their own little terrace down here. So they get the bigger patio down below. There you go. And they spend quite a bit of time on it. They watch their movies outside and that. So they've been here quite a few years. So that's it for my apartment tour. There you go. Next will be the bedroom. Follow along. Hope you guys all have a good day. Please like and subscribe. And I believe this is a much better tour than the first one. Learning curve, guys. Learning curve. Take care. Ciao. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And definitely you need to subscribe. Please.